In this video, I'll show you how to hide a section within a model-driven app using JavaScript. Now, there are various things to take into consideration uh, when you want to hide the section within uh, a model-driven app. Now, I'll take a very simple approach. Now, this is a model-driven app. And what is the section? A section is basically this part. So if you see this block over here or this card over here, this is the section. This is in another section. This is in another section. Okay. Now, what I will do, I will hide this section, the specs section, whenever the form is loaded. Now, there can be multiple scenarios where this can be helpful, whereby if you start the form load, you don't want to, uh, do not want to show all the sections by default to the user. So, if a user just type in the delegate user over here, so if I just type in some delegate user name, then only the section should be displayed. But in my case, I'll just show you just how to hide it and then other conditions you can uh, uh, derive or define based on your business logic. Okay. So the goal is basically to hide this particular section when the form is loaded. Now, this is a model driven app. So I'm just loading this form. And if I go inside a record, I can see that this particular uh, form is getting loaded and I can see the spec section. Now, in order to identify what that section name is, I have just used Level Up for Dynamics tool. So if I just see the logical name, I can see that the section name of the specs is section underscore specs. So this is important, which you need to know. And also, which tab does it belongs to? So this is a tab underscore general. Now, when you when I say tab, let me show you this. So this is called as tabs. So this is a one tab two tab and then there are other tabs in related so this is a tab and this is a section so you just need to get hold of the section name uh, and the tab name now in our case if i just show you over here tab underscore general is the section uh, is a tab name and section underscore specs is the section name so once you get that it's very easy to write a code and then get it deployed now, to start with, I have created a simple solution and in that solution, I will add the JavaScript. Now, I have an option. I can add the existing table. So, this table name is as planet. So, I can add that uh, table uh, name over here and then I'll add into the solution. Alternatively, I can add the model-driven app as well. So, I'll just add existing app, model-driven app and if I search for planet so i can see this planet model driven app i have this planet model driven app i can add it into the solution and then i can take that solution and deploy into different environment now i want a javascript to be written right so in order to write a javascript i'll open visual studio code or any other uh, code of your choice okay so let me just trust this uh what's it later and in a trusted window okay i'll just add it into the trusted folder trust folder okay fine uh, so this window is trusted now so file new file and here I will name this as say planet hide section dot JS okay so it will create a JavaScript file and this is the JavaScript file I will just create in the download folders and this is the JavaScript file so how to write a code simple uh, JavaScript I will first say function. Now, what is the name of the function? I will say I want to hide the section. So, the hide section is the name of the function, and I'll pass the execution context. And you put a bracket, uh, and then your code goes over here. So, first, what you need to do is like you just write a form context. So, this is like the stock standard. Uh, text which you need to type in to get uh, the execution context uh, by getting the form context so i'll just say execution context or get form context so this is what you need to do you are basically passing in the function execution context so you need to remember that because once we connect uh, this to a model driven app you need to pass on all these parameters okay now the tab name the tab name uh, we just need to take that in a variable so where tab equal to so first take the tab so i'll make use of form context dot ui dot tabs dot get so i'm going to get the tab name now what is the tab name now i we have just uh, 
explode over here the tab name is tab underscore general right so i'll just copy this tab underscore general and i'll put a semicolon similarly once you get the tab from tab you get a section right so we'll just say where section equal to now we'll take the reference of the tab variable so tab dot and within a tab we have a section so tab dot section and what is the name of the section so i'll just say get and put in double quotes the name of the section is section underscore specs so this is the name of the section section underscore specs so what we have done we have passed the execution context we have created a variable form context is execution context should get form context from a form context we have taken the tab and from the section we have taken the uh, from for a variable section we have referenced the tab and this is how we get the where uh, tab where section and after that it's all your business logic so if this happens then hide this okay in my case i'm just going to say on form load i want to hide the sec uh, the section uh, specs so section dot set visible is false so this is a simple line of code which will just set the uh, visibility of that section to false now we can put a multiple if conditions over here i'm not going to do that i'll just save this okay so let's see if everything is correct i put a semicolon everywhere and this this looks good now this is important the hide section this is a function name and you're passing execution context so let me copy this function name now i'll show you where to uh, use that okay so now first thing what we will do we will upload this js okay so in order to do that i'll go into the solutions i'll go to new more web resource and i'll select from the downloads planet height section and i will put that some description over here and close this click on save and i have added that web resource now once you add that web resource make sure that you publish that web resource uh, so that all the changes get persisted within that specific environment so this is planet web resource it's a type of web resource jscript i'll just say publish once it is published you will see a green message box which says publish succeeded all good now go into your model driven app now i'm in the model driven app and i will go into the forms okay now if you don't know how to go into the form just go into the table uh, and then uh, pick up your planet app planet table basically and within the planet table you have forms and within the forms whatever forms you are loading so in my case it is the main form so I'll go into the main form, open the main form, and this is basically the main form. Now, once this main form is loaded, uh, it will list down the tab and it will list down the section. Now, this is the main form. Now, in events, if you go to events over here, on load, on load of this particular form, I want a JavaScript. Okay, so on load and library. So I need to pick up the library. I'll just say add library. And I'm not sure what did I name that planet height section so this is what i have created planet height section i'll just add this okay now in planet height section i have named the function as hide section so i'll just say hide section copy this and i'm passing execution context so function enabled pass execution context as first parameter click on done so this is your basically you have attached now you have attached the javascript to your model driven app click on save and publish and if everything is all hooked up correctly you should be able to not see the specs section and if you are still able to see or if the system shows a javascript error then you need to actually debug it so let's see what happens okay so i've just published it so now if i go into planets again from here go inside a record and as you see over here it says one of the script for this record has caused an error for more details download the log file okay so i'll just click on see it says cannot read properties of undefined reading get event lame on load function is hide section and glc underscore planet i think this is coming from uh, a previous JS so if you see over here 
let me go into the JS and see whether we have written everything correctly. So function hide section, execution context, form context is execution context would get form context. Tab is again correct, tab underscore general and section is tab or section, section underscore spec. So uh, maybe that one, uh, that error which has popped up is coming from my previous uh, edits on the record. So let me go back, let me go into this particular events and let me see this form go to the events and if i go into this main form I go to the events on load select an option hide section yes so what mistake we did is like we have added the library however we haven't selected it correctly so this was my old library which i was using now here which we the one which we have added over here is g corp underscore planet height section so this is the js which we have created right so as you see over here planet height section g corp underscore planet height section so make sure that you uh, select it correctly even after adding library it won't select the actual library so once you're done with it click on done and click on save and publish now this time it should run perfectly fine let me go back to planets do a hard refresh and navigate to one of the record so earth do a hard refresh oh so now it says cannot read properties of undefined reading get now this is correctly pointing to the height section function name web resource name is correct but still it says cannot read properties of undefined reading get now let's go back to our js over here now in the code i have made a mistake a purposeful mistake i did now what that mistake is like it's very uh, you know like when you start writing javascript uh, you basically just type with the syntax go with the syntax and then start typing and then you know like just one small mistake you will not be able to find within the javascript because this particular visual studio code does not have an intelligence now as you see over here now see this is a singular form tab and then you are referencing the plural form form context dot ui dot tabs similarly for section you see here section and what we have done tab dot section dot get now instead of that what you need to do is like put sections dot get now i made this mistake purposefully just to make you understand that these are the things which you may encounter when you start writing javascript okay and it takes huge amount of time to troubleshoot that what 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 was the issue so i've just made this change i'll just save it and again i need to also show you the cycle like if you are making some change within your js how do you update it so go into the solution go into that specific js click on that record click on choose file select that file open click on save and once that is done still your changes will not be persisted now as you see over here this icon is a saving icon so first let it save completely and then what you need to do you need to publish it once you publish it, your JS will be persisting within the environment. Uh, and then once that is done, you finally, what you need to do is go into your application. So I'll just do a hard refresh. Make sure you do a hard refresh because you need to clear out all the old uh, JavaScript. Now we have uploaded a new JavaScript and publish it. And now if you navigate to a record, as you see over here, the error is gone and it has hidden the section. Even if you go into any other record, you, will, you won't see that section. You will see that section load for a main minute uh, of a fraction of a second, uh, as you see over here, but then it hides it completely. Now, a couple of things we have learned. First is how to write a JavaScript, how to troubleshoot a JavaScript, how to overwrite a JavaScript and publish, and also make sure that mistakes like this, like with a 
singular and plural uh, you just need to uh, be very careful when writing this because you do not get intelligence okay uh, so this particular example is simply to hide a section now i have just hide hidden a section on load of a form but you have an option to put some condition around it if you say if this field has this value then only i will show that particular section and this is how you basically uh, show or hide this section within a javascript so that's it folks thanks for watching